Hello everyone and welcome back to these uh the traditional event, the day 25 under the third one in a row. It is gonna be lit. Let's get right into we got 40 laps of racing. Let's get into your fall of honor. And it shot will be on the pole here. Uh, Layla took on second, which will our third in McNeely four, Sniper fifth, OPC Phoenix six, Nick Ocean seventh, Big Daddy Dave eighth, NASCAR do ninth, and Tantra at tenth. Get the rest of your results. And qualifying, we're going to qualifying, getting more specific. Let's get your green flag call. Hopefully, it gives me a different one than the Xfinity race. Drivers, start your engines! Alright, you got your command, and now let's get into green flag racing here at Daytona. It's definitely gonna be a fun one here at Daytona. We got 40 laps of racing. Green flag is out. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's get the new season started off with a banger, boys and girls. As the green flag has been displayed, we're green here at Daytona. Into turn number one. Already three wide. Contact already between the 33 and 15. As now the 22, the 22 of Nick Ocean will lead the first lap of season three. Right? Yeah, he will lead the first lap of season three. And look at this, the past champion, Master, who takes the Daytona 500 lead. Look at this, the 17 to the bottom line, which is racing. Three by three already here for the Daytona 500. Is now here comes Squid Jr. For the race lead down on the bottom. Remember, these guys love the three by three racing here, but some some people pop out with the four by, and they usually can kill the field. As now Gregory Tobin with his teammate, his CBF Motorsports teammate. Now the uh, Big Daddy goes three wide for the race lead here. Three for the race lead. I'm surprised we haven't seen a wreck. Never mind. Oh, they save it though. What a save by NR. Still on the apron, but they save it. Good save by him. You know, all these guys want a good start to the season. That's all it's really about here at Daytona. You just want a great start to the season. You get that top 10, top 5, whatever. You want. As now the rookie. Jordan Heckle leads the field here. Oh, oh, contact. They save it again. Never mind the 77 into the wall. They're going to wreck again. The 77 going through the field, through the middle of the field. Everyone trying to get through. It's a big wreck to start out the Daytona 500 on lap number four. That is a big wreck. Change of diamonds. Oh, wow. It looks like the oh it's gonna be side by side for the race to the line. This is a 43 though. We'll get it here. The caution has come out. They almost saved it, but then the 77 I think has to come up. 
as you can see right here. As you can see right here, just a little contact. That's the little more contact that the 77 just comes up on the 91, and boom, into the wall. Damn, that has got to be tough. And then, yeah, everyone just running into the uh, 77 here. We got a wreck under caution. Okay, I'm not even going to ask. As, as we, before we come to the room, like Rowdy TJ has gone a lot down. That's got to be tough. Maybe because of mechanical issues or something like that. But here they come back to the green flag. Now it's Nico Haley leading us to the green flag. Green flag is back out here. We're back to green here at Daytona. Let's look at this three wide. These teammates have been going at it for the race lead for a while. They were they went to the for the lead earlier, but now look at this teammates fighting for the race lead here. CBF one two. This might check up the field a little bit though, because they were on the bottom. Everyone just trying to be aggressive on the top lane. Being aggressive here is one of the key points at Daytona though. So don't mind it if they are aggressive. Daddy leading the field right here. His last win, I believe, was I forgot where, but I think it was Texas or something. No, it wasn't Texas. I forgot what it was, but he did win that. He did win. Um, he has two career wins. But now look at Nico Haley to the bottom of the track. But that outside, don't doubt that outside though. That outside has shown its speed. Here at the tunnel. But now when the car doesn't go with you, and there it is a shiny core doesn't go with the 60. I mean it doesn't go with the uh two. The two might get checked up right the outside might get checked up a little bit right here. The lead is to the bottom will take the race lead. That's four wide back here. Four wide. For the in the top ten. Oh god. I better watch it right here. They don't want to wreck. I feel like it's too early to make these moves. But these guys don't care. Like, they don't care. They're going for it. They want to win this race. They're to do anything to do that. Especially the force moves. But these moves kind of work. Look at the 21 move through the field after forcing the force moves. Through the field. Oh the 71 getting loose. I think they're five wide. Are they five wide? No, they're back to going four wide right here. The three checked up. Now back to going four wide. Oh, Flyers looking for a lane. Headley head leading the field. Fords, one, two, three at the strip. Yeah, Fords are one, two, three right here. As now four wide still as uh, Gregory Tobin now looking for the race lead.
as they battle hard. Contact! The three up into the outside wall. Caution has just been called. Oh, big rack. Oh, the 26 involved in another one. They reckon big time. They look like they're attached to the wall right here. Time to get off. Master moves into the wall as well. As a big wreck here. Will bring us back to the caution. Mike Yule getting, I believe, turned. Into the outside wall. Yeah, look at that. Just the four wide again. Another four wide situation. Look at that. Look at that. Geez. Oh. Not too much damage to the three, but a lot of damage to the 56, the eight. The 56 got a lot of damage from that wreck. Cage and TJR making it successfully through. Because, yes, the caution is back out here. Um, so, we get here. As M Racing taking the race lead here. As NASCAR dude with a problem on the inside, he will have to bring his spot in here. That has got to suck for the uh, 48 team. Green flag is out. We're back to green here. I'm racing a past Daytona winning. He's got one career win, and it is at Daytona. See what he can do with it here. Green flag is out. Big checkup. Oh, big, big checkup. Oh, the 46, the 76 having an issue. I think he blew something. Oh, the 76 having a big issue. Now is in the wall. Everyone coming through the field. Oh, what in the world is that? Tristan Haley getting involved with 76. A big issue here. Is he out of fuel or is his car broken? His car is definitely broken right here. That has got to suck right there for the 76. Yeah, you know, look at all these drivers that got held up. A lot of good guys like uh, Haley Ed got held up. But now they're going to have to fight their way to the front of the field now. They probably have to work, they're probably going to have to work together. Let's look at this NR24 coming through the field right here. Pushed by the 12 checkered book. Yeah, the checkered book 08 on the high side with the 32. Wait, look at all these different manufacturers Ford, Chevy, Dodge. I've not seen Toyota up here. Where are Toyota's at? There's, there's one. We got a day back here. And also, Alexis Brazier coming through the field. But these guys from behind are looking to either hope for a caution or work together to get up to the field. As almost, this is going to be the lap for the halfway. Oh, here they go. Four wide here for third place. Advantage and they still want to go four wide. I don't think that's the smart one, Chief. I don't think that's a smart idea. I don't know about that one, Chief. Oh, the 76 still on the apron. The caution will probably not come out with the 41. He's getting wrecked by the 76. Now I think the caution is out. Yeah, now the caution. The caution has just been called. As we got a pretty big wreck back here, the the 15. Maybe it wasn't a big wreck, but I don't know what happened here. Yeah. Oh, contact! Oh, into the back of the 76 right there. The 91 getting involved. 
and the 23. What a save by Brian Scott. He saved it. What a save by Brian Scott. Flyers fan 3. My prediction, one of my predictions to win the race, getting involved in that wreck. Now this will bring the field together here. Let's see what M Racing's problem was. M Racing just had a, I guess he just had like a fuel issue or something. I don't even know. That was insane. Well, who knows what he had. As now, checkered book leading the field here. The 15, the 76, and 8 have all retired from the race. As here they come. Green flag is out. We're back to green here. At Daytona. As we've had an exciting race so far. Look at this. Three wide for the race lead. These restarts. These guys have to be aggressive. And it's just how it is. Your day. Checkered book on behind you. He's he won in season one. You won the Talladega race. Remember. Remember that. Also, Striker had won the season one Daytona 500. Fox never won the race before. But he's up here with that teammate of his. Oh, he's looking for that gap. He's looking for that gap. Oh, he almost tried to force it four wide. That could have been really bad right there. Now the 39 to the bottom. Look at the 47, Brian Lorenzo. He was a cup. He was in the cup series in season one, but left to go to the Hulu series. The former team, he also ended up with two wins, but he's up here on the high lane. He just wants a good season. He just wants a good start to the season as well. Checkered foot leading that high side. Remember that high side is really good here. We've seen it. The high side is very good here. Now when you screw it up like that, a little contact between the 22 and 12. Caught Panther to the inside now. Caught Panther on the inside. by three for the race lead. Oh, contact back there. The rookie getting involved. The 14 trying to save it. The 33 involved. Caution. Well, come out here at Daytona. We're back to yellow. It's now Ty Shelnut who leads the race. What in the world happened back there? I was just focusing on what was happening on the field, and then this happened. Are they four wide? No, they weren't. Looks like the 11 just gets into the back of the one. Makes contact with the wall. The one almost saved it. Comes up. And then the one just trying to save it. Wow. He got lucky that nobody ran into him. Oh. And then and everyone. Oh, Rich Flower. Into a hard wreck. Oh, 79. Barely getting, barely getting through. And then the Rich Flower is out of the race now. That has got to suck for the Rich Boy. They had a pretty good car here. The Fast Caution comes out here. At Daytona, it's still insane. This race has just been crazy so far. Anybody can win this race. The, the race is on the line right here, and everyone is going to be aggressive here on this restart. The 81 has the fastest lap, actually. I didn't know that. As here they come. Back to the green flag. Green flag is out. We're back to green here at Daytona.
Guys, look at this. Three wide. This this the Sids takes him three wide here through the middle. Can't force it. Now the eleven who was involved in the last wreck is up here. Everywhere trying to fight their way to the lead. The 32 throwing some blocks. Now Abby Maddox leads the field here at Daytona. Look at all these fours. One, two, three, four, five. Five fours up here. Six, seven, seven fours up here. Four wide. As the caution is out, we're back. We're going back to yellow. Big Daddy involved in a wreck. And 32 will get the track position. The 93 getting involved, potentially getting involved in a wreck here. Yeah, look at this. this. Oh, wow. I think the 24. The 24 fed up with the 93 just completely dumps him. Oh, wow. The 24. We're already having a lot of... Controversy and tempers happening at Daytona. The 24 just not happy with the 93. Lucky of Big Dave getting completely dumped here at Daytona. As we're gonna have a crazy restart, let me tell you now. All these guys looking for their either their first win, but everyone is wants to win this Daytona 500. Let me tell you that now. As we're gonna have a four to go restart. The 33 is retired, the 53 is retired. Green flag is out, we're back to green here at Daytona. The 22 not the best restart, but holds in line. Can the 22 get a run? The 22 sticks up on the high side. Guys better not risk anything. Fall the 11. Wow. Had to fall all the way back here. That has got to be tough, Chief. Now the 22 to the inside. Let's see the people that have never won a race that are up here. Kyle Panthers never won a race. Lily Hedge never won a race. Ron Lorenzo's never won a race. OPC Phoenix has never won a race. Flyers has never won a race. Also, Jordan Heckle. Um, PNG and the Pie Shot. Also, Pilot Corning. All of those guys have never won a race, but they're up here for the Daytona 500. But who will be out here and who will win the race is the question. Side by side for the race lead. Now, three wide for the race lead here at Daytona. Really head to the bottom. Three wide, checkered book. He won a, a restrictor plate back in season one. Can he go and do it again? And his first race back, he has a teammate right behind him. ECR on the top, one, two. Look at that run they're gonna get though. They're gonna get that big run on the high lane. That 71 may pay, play a big part in this race. Oh, the 21 gets loose. I mean, the, the 12 gets loose. They're side by, they're four wide for the race lead. Big contact. Oh, they're wrecking. The caution is out. This is going to be for the race win. Everyone trying to get back on the track. Big Daddy goes to the high side. Trying to get the run on Haley Head. No, Brian Lorenzo goes down to the bottom. Haley Head. Big run for the 47. Haley Head is going to get her first career win here at Daytona in a side by side finish for the win. What a race. What a finish. Haley had winning by inches. If we're going to see that finish again, a photo finish for the Daytona 500. What a race. It ended by caution last race. But look at this. Look at this cheese. 
Haley Head wins her first career win here. And wins it by 0 0.5 seconds. I mean, not 0 0.5, let's check it again. Haley Head won it by 0 0.4. What a close win and finish for the Daytona 500. We'll go check out what happened back there. For the race, like, it was a big wreck. I don't even know what happened, honestly. Brad Stover involved, clearly. We'll go check out what happened here, Chief. A huge wreck for the race. Not a final lap, but it was a two to go. And then the huge wreck ends the race right here. As you can see, just a four wide situation. The 22 just comes up a little bit. Contact. They almost saved it. Oh. Oh, the 22. And then everyone, look at this. Oh, the 22 flipping right here. 32 flipping as well. Giant Unicorn made it through. If the 40, if the 2 didn't go down low, the 2 could have won the race. Oh, wow. Look at that. 47. Yeah, definitely winning this race. The 16, I meant winning this race. Congrats to the 16 of Haley at first career win. It is official. What a race here at Daytona. Haley had getting the win. Brian Lorenzo second. Big Daddy third. Ty Sean at fourth. Jordan Heckle 5th, PNG of Diamond 6th, Flyers Pan 7th, Striker 8th, 8 Shots 9th, and Caught Panther 10th. Here's the rest of your results here at Daytona. And yeah, once again, just a crazy race here at Daytona. We kind of expected this entering this race, but just amazing job by these drivers to put on a show for the fans here. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll see you guys at Richmond.